Web Interface When you want to use the web interface for operation and monitoring tasks, this could be one of the typical topologies. It is recommended to use minimum screen size of 10 inches and a HTML5 compatible web browser. These are the common tasks you can execute with a system controller. The advantage is to be able to perform system-wide operation. Whereas, for the plant and room automation devices, you can perform local device operations. I am currently accessing the embedded web server of the PXC4 device with Hello World plant configured. You can see the connection is secured as I have also installed the root certificates on the client after exporting them from ABT site. You can refer the certificate management training module to know the details. Let's navigate to the global component and have a look to the plant. You can observe that the navigation is quite user-friendly and even provides an overview of current selections. Our aim is to execute data point commanding and check the results. Let's use the advanced filter function to find for example the fan command. I would like to override and turn off the fan. Use the hand icon to do so and change the value. The overview of all manual overrides can be viewed here. Use the same icon to release the override. Click on the three dots to view the properties of the corresponding element. Navigate to the scheduler to view the configuration. The UI is similar to the programming editor and you can even edit it from here. When there are any events, an overview can be viewed here. And if it is required, the event notifications can be suppressed from the menu here. Choose the timeline and click on Yes. When the maintenance is finished, the notifications can be turned on manually or it will automatically turn on as per the timeline chosen. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.